Alright, where's eye candy? Okay, hello. Ah, there you are. Excellent. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. You're gonna need one of them ship to eliminate the entire fleet. Attack. Impressive ship, but I don't see where I fit in. Whether this ship is impressive or not, you're the key element that we've been lacking. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. I assume you already have a plan in mind? I do. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Bowden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. She probably stiff out an arc from a sector away. That's right. So it'll be your job to convince this person that you're the real deal. Once you block your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Holy fuck, dude. Find the way I'll get it done. Eager to get going. Good. Yeah. Remember. This entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. I'll do my best. I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdef, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. Out of control. I can stay the course. That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here and good luck. How I maintain uh, actually it's fine. as you were. Where's Jillian Toft? Hey. All right, we don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. Uh. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? I think I understand. Well, you better. Commander Akande's entire operation is resting on your shoulders. Oh, what a stupid... I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get this those bastards. This plan's so dumb. Why would they break? trust such a massive operation on some dude that got thrown in jail for like a 600 credit deficit? For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Bactera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. Believe me, I've seen my share of hell, Tuft. Yes, of course. I'm sorry if I brought up any painful memories. Oh, uh, one last thing. A bit of good news, actually. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return. Sweet. As compensation for your efforts. I don't need payment to do what's right. Credits, now you're speaking my language. Commander Akande came up with the idea. He was concerned you might not help us simply because it was the right thing to do. All right. We've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Wait. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, I'm she'll carrying... point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Wait, now my fucking ship's carrying a shit ton of illegal substance, so if I go into other jurisdictions, they're gonna freak out. I'll be here if you have any more questions. Oh, no, dude. Excuse me. Was that Mr. Rob? No. Alright. 
back to the ship. Of being used as a spy hamster for Greetings, the Captain. UC against the Crimson Fleet. No, I just had a small fine. And they're like, hello, petty criminal. Here's the entire operation. I was like, alright. Why did they catch me in Sol when I went to Alpha Centauri, or did I misclick Sol? How the fuck did we end up over there? Pretty sure I clicked Alpha Centauri. It's in your inventory and they don't freak out. Word. Word. About to freak this whiskey out in my mouth. Alright. Got anything you need to offer? Hey, what can I do for you? Sure show. thing. Um, sure. How about? Okay, so need to increase his jump. Ship builder upgrade. Ship. Even worse, jump range. Is anything else increased? Do we just have to buy a new ship? Mobility and mass. I guess we can add some shit instead. Ship builder. All these are minusing jump range. How the hell do we get to higher jump range? Ooh, man, that cargo boost. Ooh, man, that cargo boost. Reduce master add engines to improve mobility. Okay, well. Upgrade our engine. For starters. Cheers. They're all showing to be 17s.
tiny ass fly buzzing around here for like a week now. It's like a quarter the size of a fruit fly, but I can just see it like in the light sometimes. It's my personal stinky fly. I guess. That's why it's saying out of range. Ship doesn't have enough grab jump range. Upgrade your grab drive or rank up your astrodynamic skill. Where's astrodynamics? Increase grab run, uh, range of jump drives by 15%. Is that enough? I don't think so. I think we need to rank 3 for this. Should be? They need. They said 21, right? We have 17. You only need a 0.46? What? I don't think so. Where did it say that? Oh, I see distance here. The main quest told us we need 20 or 21, but okay. We should be fine then. Indeed. So I keep a point in the back pocket. Or several. I like putting things in the back pocket, chat. Yeah. Okay, from 17 to 19. Not sure how that math works at 15%, but I guess it rounds up. No decimals. I thought this game pauses when you all tab. Visit 20 star systems. Satellite, except. Shit, dude, they're in trouble, chat. They are in big trouble. It is my sworn duty. Oh, fuck, we have to investigate a goddamn. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave them. <laughs>
Hmm. Complete and tangle, investigate the distress signal. Oh, the satellites for a distress call down there. Okay, I got you. I got you. Thought they wanted us to dock with the uh, satellite area. themselves. I have a feeling this is a jib bait. Pirates or something baiting us in. What stuff here? stuff here. Mission our research station. You speaking. What is your business here? Responding to your distress signal. What? We haven't sent a distress signal. There it is. Nothing on the comms. No other ships in the system since our last supply drop. Look, what are you trying to pull here? Tell so there's an explosion in your high energy research lab. Maybe I was mistaken. Are you sure no one sent a distress signal? Could have been sent for somewhere else? Yes, I'm sure. If there was an emergency, I'd be the one sending it. So there's an explosion. Really? The high energy research lab. All right. I don't know what's going on here, but you should talk with the director. For security, I'm going to have to ask your friend to wait out there. Uh oh. What's inside? Stay with me and don't make any sudden moves. All okay. right, this is fucked. It seems a strict policy, but in a way that is reassuring. Suggest they know what they are doing. No. Nope. Do not worry about me. Go ahead and go. Hello, Gears. Alright. I have a feeling they've already taken over the station and I'm about to be like taken hostage and stuff. Spin in place before going in the direction you want it to. Ethan Hughes, Chief of Security. If you'll follow me, I'll show you to the director. What's with all the security? We're a small research station in the middle of nowhere. Pirates eat places like this for lunch. It is my job to make sure that we are not on the menu. Fair. Let's go. We'll take the back way up. My favorite big boy. Oh, he meant like, okay. Here, you can see our lovely storage area. Don't touch anything. Is it anything worth touching? So, our uh, <laughs> Look. Creepy. Cool. 
Isn't that a crimson pirate thingy uniform? Wait for what, Gibbs? The one he's wearing? You tell me. I don't know what I was here for a second, but everything was destroyed. It's kind of normal. It could be an artifact I'm looking for. What are you talking about? One minute, you're following me, and then you're just gone. Minute later, you pop in out of nowhere, looking like you were in the middle of a fight. I was. There's some scorpion things right over there. In our storage room. I should have never let you inside. What is this? Some kind of stealth tick. Who are you working for? This is ridiculous. I'm not lying. Look, I don't know what's going on. Let's get you to the director. Maybe she can figure this out. Yeah, that was very jarring. Come on. But like in a cool way. way. You're right there. Finally, someone Show came. yourself, demon! The distress signal. You picked up the distress signal, right? Stop it, I didn't know what's going on here. Yeah, I got your distress signal. It's been so long. I'm out of food. Out of water. Dude, we're like hopping time or something. I made it. I... Wait. How did you get in here? He was just taking me to see the director, and then I was just here. I think I'm shifting from another Nishina, an intact one. What? What are you talking about? No. No, no, no. This doesn't make any sense. Unless... The accident. Maybe... Maybe this is a side effect of the accident. Mm. If the probe is still feeding power to the distortion... You no, know, chat. What then... we're seeing here is still about equal par of facial animation quality if we were to actually see him, so you're not missing much. Uh, probe distortion, right. Right. We were studying a gravitational distortion. Three months ago, I was calibrating an experiment in our high-energy research lab. There was an accident. An explosion. It caused a gas leak. Sparked a fire. I was trapped in the control room. There was nothing I could do. They're... They're all dead. Describe this distortion. The lab was built around a xenolith with a dense metallic odd. Just disappear. We should. Wait. He's back. Hello. All right. We're on our way up. Fuse out. I was just feeling in the director. Yeah, that's great. Moving. Uh, cheers. I think we're caught up with the deaths now. Either one. Oh, fuck. But we leveled three times after that. Okay, never mind. Friends, what is the dude back here? I guess not. That did not go as planned. Oh, no, I actually did. Yeah. 
bitch. player but it's a low blow chat so how is this pharmaceutical lab intact but everything else is just trashed as shit not fucking everything in this game up till this point was extremely believable this just ruined everything barakova's personal journal 180 day rotation Monsieur has reported an emergency with the Particle Accelerator Energy Engineering Team, code blue. Uh, full trial. Yeah, I saw that, Advent. Was it methane poisoning? A bite from some terrifying venomous life form? No, evidently Mr. McCarrick dropped a uh, drill on the foot while assembling the containment housing. Minor bruising, not even a sprain. Clearly dealing with dangerous, unknown phenomena here. There's been an explosion in the research level. With full security lockdown alarms blaring. Hughes is trying to regain control. I am, of course, standing by. There's a hydrogen leak. The explosion must have ruptured the tanks and the research level. It's in the ventilation system. We cannot contain it from up here. We can't evacuate because of the lockdown. Hughes is still trying to reset the system or at least cut the air interchange. But it's going to take a few hours. If the levels rise much further, the entire facility could combust. There's something to be said of boring days. This is the final entry. Look, I didn't do any more entries. Well, let's have a seat for now. So, what's going on? Uh, pretty, uh, you okay, dude? You're looking a little thin. You gotta put some food on, in your bones. All right, let's get out of here. I don't want to upset him, Chad. He's gonna have a bone to pick with me otherwise. Good thing this alternate reality also uses Synapse Alpha. What's Synapse Alpha do? Actually, we have a bunch of those, too. And there are those med kits. Research process require fewer resources for 10 minutes. Oh, shit. A bone to pick? Oh, that's so funny. Trauma pack. Nice, nice. Hello? Any gooeys in here? You look kind of gooey. Hello, ooey gooey rich and chewies. Gooeys? Ah. There are gooeys. Hello. Ah, insect! Ah! Oh, thank God. Okay. It was just all a terrible dream. Hello. 